Good morning. Oh, it's sunny, 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 but very chilly. Uh, it's beautiful out there. Come and have a look. Absolutely gorgeous. And the bird, bird song, fantastic. I must do the Merlin app before I forget. And we're going to be tackling the huge rhubarb flower. I think I'm going to actually lop that off. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. But <laughs> the near death experience in my shed, they've recovered all bar this one. This, um, that, that, there's, there's a sunflower there that's still looking all limp. But look, they've, they've, they've um, yeah, they're all plumped up, thank God. But they do, and I repotted them as well, uh, as did my um, climbing beans. They've all um, perked up, which is great. Oh, let's quickly do Merlin app. Hold up, let's just such as one of my favorite apps this I know a lot of you have it but anyone who's new Merlin app fantastic but what have we got a Dunnock so far blackbird and a robin and a wren beautiful <laughs> that's a nice way to start the day oh it's sunshine it's so lovely i mean it is really cold i've got two scarves on that's how cold it is but yeah um what did i do yesterday let's just check if the taunton dean's all right it's still it's still standing and definitely get, getting purpler as as and i can actually see new growth as well which is great uh yeah i did all the weeding yesterday didn't i Oh, this is, this is the, I've got to get rid of this. I actually forgot yesterday, but luckily, I mean, look at it. It's like a bird's nest. It's absolutely horrific. Let's just get rid of that. I'll put it in a pot because I've got to, I mean, you know, how can I get rid of that? I can't put it in the, uh, what do you call it? Black bin uh, rubbish because it will just get on a, well, I don't know where it will go, but it, the likelihood is it's not going to end well. I can't recycle it because I presumably it's not the right type of plastic. What would you do with it, really? I mean, yeah. How would I get rid of that without having, harming the um, wildlife is essentially what I'm trying to get at. And the other, I, I don't know if I've pointed out this, but do you remember my, uh, oh, look, there's a boatman on it. I don't know if you can see that. A water boatman. He's resting on the leaf. I only had one leaf on this um, pond plant, but now there's three. And I think, I don't know if you can see that, but there's been a nibble, something's nibbled out of that leaf, but it's still quite murky. So I 100% need more water oxygenating plants. Uh, just have to wait till funds allow. But it's coming on and I'm leaving the grass to grow long around it. And obviously here, I have actually added more mounds, built it up a bit, but I will put, flowers and stuff will grow there i need to put more stone this along there i just haven't had the just just haven't <laughs> right let's tackle this rhubarb flower see you in a bit Nobody's here, so very early. Uh, Mid-April, in case you're wondering. Um, so it's, it's spring, but there's a bit of a sort of kick to the wind, you know, it's a bit chilly. Typical, typical early spring, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I'm pleased with the rhubarb flower. Please, with a tinge of, oh, well, you know, slight sadness. That's the first time I've ever seen one. There's, I can see rhubarb along it all here and I can see quite a few of bolted. Um, I might do a walkabout um, on the next one when I come at, if I, next time I come really early to show you springtime in the allotment. Oh, hold on, hold on. So, uh, let me take this off. Oh, where is it? Oh, no. Hold up. If you can't hear me, because I've lost my mic. I thought I'd lost my mic, but actually I'd stuck it in the shed and forgot to put it back on. Oh. 
honestly. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've been looking all over. Oh, what a numpty. Jeez, all. Oh, cheers. You might have heard me, but it would have been the audio would have dipped a bit because I'm not. I'm not. It was in there rather than out here. Oh, oh, nice. I've lost my train of thought now. Oh, for the love of Lord. I don't know if any of you do you remember me banging on about slow horses that's on Apple TV. I think they do a three month free subscription, which is three months, which is pretty amazing. I've got the book. This, uh, I think this is the second one. So good, so good, really, really. One of the, in fact, it's. I love reading, but I, because I don't tend to read new things very easily, like I like to stick to my favourites. It's really nice to have something that I've not actually read a few times before. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Now, what was I going to do? Oh, look up what to do with rhubarb leaves. So bear with, bear with. I'm still charging. I mean, I don't need the charge. It's just the novelty. So good to see it working. This. Hold on. Oh, I'm going to put this back on. I just have to cut out the slurps because I don't like them. Um, it cost about £7 on Temu. Um, and so far, I'm very happy with it. Very handy, obviously. <laughs> if you haven't got electric... Uh, right, what was I doing? Rhubarb leaves. So you can compost them. They have a high level oxalic, oxalic acid uh, and should not be eaten, uh, but they're safe to add to the compost pile. The, the oxalic acid degrades rapidly in the pile and has no impact, impact on compost quality. Well, that's good. And what about stalks? Can you compost rhubarb stalks? Yeah, you can. I think just chop them up though. Otherwise, obviously, it would take longer to, to, to compost. Oh, that's good. Um, I'm wondering, I might make a rhubarb dish for the cooking channel with that rhubarb. and I'll, I'll probably harvest a, a bit more. I wonder what I can make. What do you reckon? Because uh, I'm going to do it the weekend. So whatever you comment here will actually tell me or give me good ideas for the weekend to do. Um, yeah. I'll do a quick rhubarb recipes. I mean, rhub uh, crumble is an obvious, absolute mu deliciousness. Have you ever heard of rhubarb jam? Has anyone had rhubarb jam? <sighs> Internet. Rhubarb recipes. <sighs> rhubarb crumble, rhubarb and custard muffins. Ooh, that sounds nice. Stewed rhubarb with ice cream. Uh, rhubarb koresh with chickpeas and chard. That looks like a kind of curry. I'm not sure um, what that is, but it, I think it's a curry. Yeah, rhubarb crisp. Kind of looks like a uh, crumble though. Baked ricotta with spice poached rhubarb. <laughs> Sounds good. I mean, jam, rhubarb and ginger jam. I wonder, that might be quite nice, if, especially if you've got plentiful. Savoury rhubarb salsa, rhubarb panna cotta, rhubarb pudding. I think that's got a sort of interesting topping, not, not like a crumble, but with almonds and whatnot, so it might be quite interesting. Rhubarb crumble bars. Hmm, that sounds good. Yeah, I like that. I'll bookmark that list. But let, if you've got any good ideas, if you've tried and tested something that you really love, let me know. But um, that's got a bit of inspiration there. Good. Right, slurp. Oh. Nice. Right. Enough of this sitting around. Uh, oh, let's get some more rhubarb and then and then I've got to keep the vlog at 20 minutes or under because it won't upload if it's over 20 minutes. It's, I don't know why. I'll try to find out, but I can't look it out. <laughs> but that's fine. Keeps it you know, not too long. Uh, right, yeah, rhubarb, let's do it. Um, 
some of it may not be as ripe as it could be, but yeah, it's I've just picked some um, and a lot of leaves. <laughs> and there's also like a lot of you said about the hole. That's the hole left from the the um, thing. Uh, I think some of you said fill that with soil or earth to stop it um, from rotting. I think was was what some of the helpful comments said. So I will do that. Uh, yeah. Right, I've got to go now um, because the battery's low and um, it might be reaching its max 20 minutes. <laughs> Ooh. But thanks so much for watching and thanks for your really helpful comments. Um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.